Okay, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to look at what's called the content center. And the content center is uh, simply a, a library that has commercial parts already created and you use those uh, to place them in your assembly. So uh, quite the time saver as far as that goes. So the first thing we're going to do is put in some socket head cap screws. And to do that, make sure you don't have anything over here clicked on. If you click something on and you right click, you get a whole different uh, pop-up menu than if you click off of everything, right click, and note now we've got something called Place from Content Center. And we'll go ahead and load up the Content Center. Now it may have, to, it may take a minute for it to load up. Uh, we'll go in now, and we're in fasteners right now. We've got other features that we can deal with. We've got structural shapes, sheet metal, uh, different components that go in sheet metal, shaft components. Might be good when you're uh, working in your uh, shaft design project for uh, machine design one. So that definitely would, would have some things that you might need and it might be very useful uh, when you do your project in project one and two. So you can see there are different types of bearings and you know, they, it cuts right down to it and it, it creates a, an assembly. So keep that in mind when you're uh, working on these, uh, when you're working on your projects. Right now what we need is a hex cap screw. The one we want is right here, hexagon socket head cap screw, inch. If you double click that with your left mouse button, it'll pop up a uh, window here that actually has some inputs. Hopefully, <laughs> we've had problems once already, so let's see if we can keep things going here. Okay, there's my socket head cap screws. And I need, in this case, I know I need a 5 sixteenths, a unified national course. That's a 5 sixteenths 18. Otherwise, a fine would be a 5 sixteenths 24. And then I'm going to put a bogus length in here of 7 eighths. And the reason I'm doing that, I'm going to put both these screws in. I'm going to put them over there, right click, and done. So the reason I'm doing that is I know that I need an inch and a quarter, but I'm going to go ahead and put them in a little bit short so that you can see how easy it is to make the changes to them. So uh, the next thing I would do probably, well, I could, I got two options. I'm going to change the color, and we'll go to Occurrence, and I'll make that green just like it was in the other drawing. And that's, I just went over and found it in the browser, right click, Eye Properties, Occurrence, Material, and green. You don't have to use green, that's just what I'm using. Not trying to keep it consistent here. Okay, then uh, I'll go ahead and place those. Now, there is a thing called eye mates, but I'm not a big fan of these eye mates. I've got an insert there, and that might be a good one. I might go ahead and use that somewhere along the way here. Okay, and then we've got a line and a line 2D. So, uh, we might do that on the next one. Okay, so I'm going to go in there and constrain using an insert. And I want this face here and that one there. Got that. I'll hit apply. Do the same thing on the other side here. And okay. Now, if we rotate that around there, you'll see that. Oh, they just barely stick out. So with that being the case, we've got to do a little work. First thing I'm going to do is hit save. Okay, from there then, I'm going to go in and go to these two and change them. Notice it says it's 5 16ths, 18, and it's 7 eighths long. I still don't really know how long I need to make that. I do, personally, I know I need an inch and a quarter, but I don't have my nut and bolt in there or excuse me, my nut and uh, washer. So that might be a little bit of an issue. Okay, so now the other option would be, I guess, to 
to uh, go ahead and put the, the nut and the washer in there. And uh, then we could see where we needed them. So let's just do that. Right click, place from content center. And instead of bolts now, we need nuts. We just want a hex nut. We could use a hex flanged, but uh, we'll just use a regular uh, hex nut. Now these are jam nuts are used when you have to put two nuts together to, to make sure that it locks in place. We just want a hex flat nut inch. So we'll double click that. We want, uh, oh, let's see, we got, what do we got there? That's something wrong there, that hex flat nut. We don't need the heavy hex. And we don't need the thick. Uh, let's check the machine screw. Oh, here we go, here's hex nut inch. There we go, we need a 5 16 UNC. There is no length on that nut. And we'll put in two of them. Right click and done. Uh, we also need to place from the content center some washers. And we just need to plane. And it's a circular washer. Inch. Double click. Five sixteenths. And we'll put in two of those. I don't remember what color I made these over here. Let's see if we can rotate them around here and get something on it. Looks like we used yellow. So we'll make these yellow. What the heck? Our properties. Currents. Uh, yellow. Right. Oops. I didn't get it. Right click. Our properties. Currents. Y for yellow. Okay. Now then we could go ahead and place those. Again, constraint. Insert this face here and that face. We'll go to this one and that one. Then we'll go uh, this one. That one. Go here, and there. Okay, so those are both located in place. Now they still will uh, spin. But now we could actually go in there now, rotate this around, and see how just how much we need, couldn't we? It'll be tricky, but we should be able to do it. Let's see. Let's go to tools, distance, and grab. We got to grab that face. We gotta make sure we get the right face is the problem. That face to that face. And it looks like it needs to go another 284 in, or 0.284. So if we go to our calculator, we know we had 0.875 plus point, what was it, 284? So we got we got more than an inch and a quarter, excuse me, more than an inch and an eighth, but not an inch and a quarter. So we'll go to an inch and a quarter, and you'll see the list here in just a minute, and it, it'll make sense then as far as that goes. Okay, so we'll go back down here to the uh, hex socket head cap screw, right click, change size up at the top. Now this takes a second. And we've got five sixteenths. Now, here's our, well, we couldn't even go an eighth. It's one inch, and it goes up to an inch and a quarter. Okay, and we'll hit OK. And there you can see we now have one that we get that. You have to have what's called the full nut on that thread. You have to get this full nut, the full engagement of that screw through that nut. So inch and a quarter worked just fine, so we'll go to the second one. Right click, change the size. Should come up a little quicker this time. Inch and a quarter on the nominal length. Okay. And there you go. 
Now, well, one thing I failed to note, uh, when you're talking about how long that thing is, it's the distance from where this head meets the uh, fork out to the end of your threads. That's where the inch and a quarter comes from. So if you need to know, that's, uh, that's what's going on there. Now, on our drawing, we have two other bolts here, socket head cap screws. They're both 5 sixteenths diameter. So we'll right click, place from content center, uh, hex socket head again, and they're 5 sixteenths, and I believe, uh, let's see, 5 sixteenths, and I believe they're still uh, Unified National Course. And what the heck, we'll make this one, uh, I believe it's 7 eighths. And OK. And there's one, and there's two. And again, if you want to make them different colors, I think they use red on the last one here. And we'll go here and get this one. And they wouldn't both have to be the same color necessarily. Okay, and then we'll insert them. Back to our assembly, constraint, and you have to go to insert. Mate is the default. Insert, boom, boom. And then we'll go here and get this one and that one. So you don't have to actually be where you can see it really well. It'll, you can go through the part. And there you can see we're just about through the edge. Now that's probably a little bit more than what I had on this one. Notice that one didn't go through very far. Barely goes through as far as that goes. So I think we're better off. Uh, the more engagement you get there, the better off you are. So uh, I think we're going to leave it like that. Then we've got uh, one more set down here. On the bottom here. And I don't remember exactly how long that is, but we can surely figure that out. If we go in there and measure again from this face and rotate that over to that point, it's a half inch. And if we rotate that around, you can see that that's the length that we're getting. So we don't want to go any more than a half inch in that case because we don't want the uh, the uh, thread popping up out of the end of these ridges. So we'll right click, place from content center. Oh, and by the way, these are quarter inch. Uh, if you uh, if you don't have the uh, the drawing in that case, what you're going to have to do is go to this part right here. Right click, open. There's your part, and you can go to the extrusion and do an edit sketch. Oh, you know what, that's that's not what I wanted. You wanted to go to the hole, edit the feature, and you can find out that it's a quarter 20. And that's all you need that for, so close it. You don't have to save it. So it's a quarter 20, and we know it doesn't need to be any more than a half inch long. Place from content center, hex cap screw, And we'll go quarter, 20. And we said no more than a half inch. Let's go 7 16 and see what it does. I don't like as long as that's taken. There's one, two. Okay, now we can move that out a little bit. But let's right click on that. Oh shoot, I didn't need to do that. I wanted to right click. I properties that ain't going far enough. And we'll change that to what do you think? Magenta. Same thing on this one. Magenta. Okay, now let's uh, zoom out here a little bit and we'll move these down.
Oh, let's see. Uh, let's see if we can. Okay, let's see. We'll go ahead then and rotate this around so we can see what's going on there. And we'll uh, go ahead and constrain it. And again, insert. Apply that. And insert this one. Now be careful. Let me cancel that last one. Be careful there. Because if you pick, uh, when you constrain this, you pick this and then you get one of those inside realize you're actually in interfering with the uh, original base so that wouldn't be good so that's uh, probably that cap screw right there there's your insert delete that and we'll pull it back out and we'll go ahead and Create a constraint, insert, hopefully I got the, and I must not have gotten the right one, let's cancel that, do it again. The bolt can still move, the head of that screw can move. Okay, and that's fine, and just like these can up here. We want that to still spin, but we don't want it to come off of the face there. So that pretty much wraps that up, as far as that goes. Uh, that's what we're going to use that functionality for. Now again, we can we can put other things in from the content center. Uh, we just don't need them in this particular example. Uh, rivets. I mean, there there's just all kinds of fasteners, and uh, like I said, there are other parts there. And tubes and pipes, uh, fittings. Need some fittings for piping. So that's kind of a handy little. There's some really neat features here. Uh, the round tubes probably will be, might be one of your best, especially when you start talking to project class. So just keep that in mind. And basically then this, uh, this thing is done as far as that goes. Uh, I think we'll just stop this video here and then we'll go from there.